Globetrotters, culture seekers, and wanderlust-filled souls, welcome to our journey around the five most traveled places on Earth. Today, we're setting our compass to the destinations that have captured the hearts of travelers far and wide. These are places that not only boast of breathtaking landscapes, historical landmarks, and rich cultures, but also have an undeniable charm that keeps calling us back. Our selection is based on the frequency of travel, the unique experiences they offer, and the lasting memories they imprint on every visitor's mind. From the romantic city lights of Paris, to the ancient allure of Rome, the picturesque landscapes of Switzerland, the royal charm of London, and the untouched beauty of South Island in New Zealand. Each destination is a world in itself, offering a diverse blend of experiences that cater to every kind of traveler. So fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this exciting journey to discover the charm of the world's most visited destinations. Our first stop is the city that is synonymous with love and beauty, Paris. Ah, the city of lights. It's impossible to talk about travel without mentioning Paris, a city that's home to iconic landmarks like the towering Eiffel Tower, the historic Louvre Museum, and the Gothic Notre Dame Cathedral. The Eiffel Tower, a symbol of Paris, is a must-see. Standing tall at over 300 meters, it offers a panoramic view of the city that is simply breathtaking. Next, the Louvre Museum, the world's largest art museum, invites you to lose yourself in a labyrinth of art and history, housing masterpieces like the Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo. The Notre Dame Cathedral, despite its recent trials, remains an iconic symbol of French Gothic architecture. Paris is a city that is alive all year round, but the best time to visit is during the spring, from April to June, when the city is in full bloom. The primary language spoken here is, of course, French, and the currency used is the euro. But Paris is more than just its landmarks. It's the aroma of fresh croissants wafting from a nearby bakery, the soft strumming of a guitar by the Seine, and the clinking of coffee cups in a roadside cafe. It is a city that has been the muse of artists and writers for centuries, its cultural richness and historical significance seeping from every cobblestone street and ornate building. Indeed, the allure of Paris is timeless and it continues to captivate the hearts of travelers from all corners of the globe. Next, we journey to the Eternal City, a place steeped in history and culture, Rome. This city is a treasure trove of ancient architecture, with the Colosseum, Vatican City, and the Roman Forum standing as testaments to its glorious past. The Colosseum, an iconic symbol of Imperial Rome, is a marvel of engineering that once hosted gladiatorial contests and public spectacles. Vatican City, the smallest state in the world, is home to St. Peter's Basilica and the Sistine Chapel, both resplendent with Renaissance art. The Roman Forum, once the heart of the Roman Empire, gives us a glimpse into ancient life with its ruins of government buildings and temples. But Rome is not just about the past. It's a bustling metropolis with a vibrant contemporary life, the city streets are alive with the hum of scooters, the aroma of fresh espresso, and the charm of local markets. Rome is a city that savors its past while embracing the present. The best time to visit Rome is from April to June and late September to October, when the weather is mild. The official language is Italian, but English is widely spoken. The currency used is the euro, but credit cards are accepted almost everywhere. Rome's historical significance is undeniable. It was the birthplace of one of the world's greatest civilizations and continues to be a major cultural, political, and religious center. Its rich heritage blends seamlessly with its lively spirit, making it a city that is both ancient and modern, timeless and ever-changing. Rome, with its rich heritage and lively spirit, is truly a city that never ceases to amaze. Leaving the cityscape behind, we find ourselves amidst the breathtaking landscapes of Switzerland. A country carved by the hands of nature, Switzerland is a canvas painted with stunning mountains, serene lakes, and charming villages. It's a place where each turn of the road brings you face to face with a new marvel, a new spectacle. A journey through Switzerland is a dance with nature. The majestic Alps, standing tall and proud, are a testament to the country's unrivaled beauty. Whether it's the Matterhorn's striking silhouette or the Jungfrau's ice-capped peaks, the Swiss mountains are a sight to behold. But the allure of Switzerland doesn't stop at its mountains. The country is also home to tranquil lakes that mirror the sky, their placid waters offering a serene escape. Picture this, the turquoise Lake Geneva, the expansive Lake Zurich, or the crescent-shaped Lake Lucerne, each surrounded by quaint towns and villages, 
a testament to Swiss charm. Speaking of charm, the villages of Switzerland are a storybook come to life. From the car-free streets of Zermatt to the cobblestone lanes of Gruyères, these villages are a delightful blend of history, culture, and beauty. When it comes to the best time to visit, Switzerland welcomes you with open arms all year round. The summers are great for hiking and sightseeing while the winters transform the country into a snowy wonderland, perfect for skiing and snowboarding. The official languages here are German, French, Italian, and Romansch, and the currency is the Swiss franc. Switzerland has earned its reputation as a top destination for outdoor enthusiasts. Whether it's hiking, skiing, or simply soaking in the beauty, the Swiss landscape offers something for every adventurer. Switzerland, with its pristine beauty and tranquil ambiance, is a paradise for nature lovers and adventurers alike. We now cross over to the city that beautifully blends tradition with modernity, London, the capital of the United Kingdom. London is a city that takes pride in its iconic landmarks, rich history, and vibrant culture. When you step into this city, you're greeted by a host of architectural marvels that tell stories of a time long past. The Tower of London, a historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames, is a testament to the city's medieval history. Big Ben, the giant clock tower at the end of the Palace of Westminster, chimes with an air of authority, marking every hour with a sense of grandeur. But London isn't just about history. It's a city that embraces the new while respecting the old. The British Museum, home to a plethora of artifacts from all around the world, is a perfect example of this. It's a place where one can travel through time, exploring the world's history under a single roof. London is a city that's always alive, always moving. Its vibrant nightlife with its diverse range of bars, clubs, and restaurants caters to every taste and preference. From traditional pubs serving classic British ale to modern clubs playing the latest hits, the city's nightlife scene is as diverse as its population. The best time to visit London is during the spring, between March and May, when the city is bursting with color and life. The currency, of course, is the British pound, and the language spoken is English, albeit with a charming British accent that's music to the ears. London, with its eclectic mix of old and new, is a city that caters to every traveler's taste. Whether you're a history buff, a culture vulture, a foodie, or a party animal, London has something for everyone. So, why wait? The city of London is waiting to be explored. Finally, we arrive at a place that is truly a feast for the eyes, the South Island of New Zealand. This slice of paradise is a symphony of towering mountains, crystal clear lakes, and lush rainforests. The South Island is an exhibition of nature at its most dramatic, with landscapes that seem to have leapt straight out of a fantasy novel. The best time to visit this breathtaking destination is during the summer, from December to February, when the weather is ideal for exploring the outdoors. English is the primary language spoken here and the currency is the New Zealand dollar. The South Island is also a sanctuary for diverse wildlife. You may find yourself sharing a beach with a colony of seals or spotting rare birds in the rainforest. And for those with an adventurous spirit, the island is a playground. Imagine kayaking on a mirror-like lake or hiking through an ancient forest. South Island, with its untouched beauty and endless adventure opportunities, is a haven for explorers and nature enthusiasts. And that brings us to the end of our journey around the five most traveled places on Earth. We've roamed the romantic streets of Paris, wandered through history in Rome, savored the pristine beauty of Switzerland, soaked in the diverse culture of London, and experienced the breathtaking views of South Island, New Zealand. Each destination, with its unique charm and allure, invites you to delve deeper, to explore, and to immerse yourself in its captivating stories. So, pack your bags, set your spirit free, and start your own adventure in these amazing destinations. Until next time, happy travels!